Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's been a long time since I've talked to you guys. Um, I've just been chilling out with friends, having a good summer and whatnot. But uh, I'm going to make a video right now, obviously. Um, I have a lot of requests to make expand a monitor carry video, so I'm, I'm going to do that, too. And I'll, I'll make videos like probably like once a week. I'll get into the habit of making more videos. Because now I have 200 subscribers. Thanks to 200 subscribers. Like, that's... I got that quick. Like, I don't even know when I started making videos, but I got that pretty quick. Um, pretty happy about that. So thanks for the 200 subscribers. So I'm going to keep making videos and stuff. So I don't have that much to update, but I'll just walk you around the room and tell you some changes and whatnot. So thanks again, and let's get started. Uh, first over here, you guys all know the Oscar. He's exactly the same. He's still in this cage. I don't really know what to say about him. He's just like chilling in there. Uh, now I'll move up. No, I'll show you. You guys don't even really like, probably like me. Care about this guy. He's my fire belly toad. He's just chilling in there. That's him right there. So yeah, he's in there. I have two crested gecko eggs in there. I don't know what's happening with those, but uh, something about the eggs. Two of my eggs hatched, but the geckos died. So yeah, they died like in an hour. I don't know what was wrong with them. I don't know if they came out earlier or what. They both died. They hatched in like like the same day, different times, and they died within the hour. So I, I don't know about that, but whatever. I don't really, I don't know. Stuff happens. Um, here's my bearded dragon. His cage looks okay, I guess. It looks kind of cool, I think. Um, he's doing really good. He's eating. He's getting big. Really pretty colors. I know you guys really can't see it, especially with the screen there. Uh, I don't know if you can see his pretty colors. But he has really pretty colors, and he's doing good. He eats every day. Um, his cage, I'm, I'm getting him a 40-gallon breeder this week. And I'm going to make this really nice setup, like like trying to make it really natural looking. Um, not really just a whole bunch of sticks. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make all my cages look good. I'm in the progress of that, but it's going to take a while. So, yeah, that's his cage right now. It looks kind of cool. So, yeah, that's him. He's doing good. Down here is one of my newer geckos, the leucistic. I know his cage looks like a piece of crap, but whatever. I don't really care. Uh, but. Wow, that was not good at all. Yeah, there he is. He's really pretty. Really pretty. But he's a big male, and he's in here by himself. And let me pick up this light. Sorry. Uh. Okay, whatever. I'll do it after the video. Uh, here's my turtle tank. Yeah, it got super dirty, as you guys can see. Uh, it got really dirty. Uh, I gotta clean that out. Probably this, not this weekend because Fourth of July, but uh, next weekend I'll do that. But there's my Mississippi map. My saw shell. They're getting big. This is my infrared temp gun. If you guys wanted to know. But yeah, they're doing good. Uh, I guess I'll go to the top. Um, he just went, yeah, wow, he was out when I made this video. Here's my little Argentine black and white. I'm not really progress, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Try to handle him every day, try to. I give him baths, he lets me pick him up then, but it hasn't worked, but I'm trying my best. I mean, whatever. We'll see what happens, but, um, I'll just, he's probably under his hide. If he's under here, I'm not going to bury him up, but if he's under here, there he is. So I'm just going to let him be under his hive. Because he just ate some pinkies. And so, I got my rodent pro order in of some pinkies, chicks, and mice for my monitors and whatnot. And here's my Chinese cave geckos. A lot of people like these guys, apparently. Um, I like them too, they're really cool. Uh, they're probably under this coconut. Not quite sure. Oh, yeah, there's one. I'll pick him up. He's, he's pretty tame. Yeah, he's still... They're not really adults yet, I don't think. I mean, I've seen ones that are a lot bigger. So, he's just chilling in there. Uh, the other one's somewhere in there, hiding. So, I got a pair in there. Chinese cave geckos. They're pretty awesome. This is their setup. The zoom head. Open up terrarium. Uh, and here are the crested geckos um, I'm planning on making both of these cages look nicer like naturalistic vivariums with like 
live plants, but I gotta get money for that. Uh, there's one of them right there. You can see his tail. I don't, I don't know where the other one is. You guys have seen my crested geckos before. So, yeah, they're just doing kind of good in there. Just chilling out. Uh, down here, I have my three other leopard geckos. Um, they're just in here. I needed a cage that was a little bit bigger than a 10 gallon. This is about a 20 gallon size. A 20 tall. Uh, there's my, my male and my female. Super hypo tangerine caratel baldy. Her tail is completely orange. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all orange. So she's like a really nice gecko. If I can, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get her out. But in there, in that hide, is my. I have no idea what kind of gecko it is. Um, I think it might just be a tangerine or a hypo or whatever. So yeah, that's that chilling in there. We put on the top. Um, this I know this is a terrible setup. Still working on getting that 20 gallon, but I have a lot of cages and plans that I need to get money for. Um, but I'm working on it. Uh, but this is like probably my last project because they're, they're they're fine in here. So yeah, let me put this cage up really quick. Actually, I won't because it'll take way too long. All right. Um, in here, it's my box turtle. Here he is. He's doing good. He's eating. He's awesome. Yeah. Pretty simple setup still. Bottle cap for a water dish. Hide plant. I know you guys are gonna be very, very disappointed in this. Oh my gosh, this cage looks like crap. There's nothing in it. Yeah, I realize that and stuff. But as you can see how big he is, he tears the plants out and he doesn't have room anymore. He's getting so big. Like he's huge. That's like him to the cage. Like, he doesn't have that much room. He's huge. So, is what a, my first project is. Me and my dad are starting on it, not this weekend, but next, like, two weeks from now, we are making him a 10 foot by 4 foot by 4 foot. And it's going to take up the whole wall, and it's going to be pretty awesome. And eventually, the Tegus will get that, too. A 10 foot by 4 foot by 4 foot. And his cage is going to be pimped out. I'm going to make it look so awesome, you guys. You guys are going to be freaking out. It's going to look awesome. Uh, it'll probably be done, like, in three months I mean it's gonna take a while obviously like wouldn't make it look nice and whatnot so yeah get looking forward to that so I'm not sure if I'm gonna make the care video when that's done or should I make it like soon I don't know it's gonna take a while to make that video I mean there's a lot about these animals but uh he's doing awesome and stuff I don't really feel like getting him out he just ate he ate a chick uh so yeah that's him and his enclosure right now it's temporary it will not it's gonna house him for a little bit longer but yeah, so that's him in his cage for now. Alright, moving up. Here's my Tegu in his cage. It's, it looks pretty sick. Uh, I kind of redid it again. Uh, I kind of made it more for his needs. Like, because he's getting bigger. Um, as you can see, like, look at the size of this guy. He always wants to come out, but, I mean, look at him. Look at those reds. He is such a beautiful Tegu. What are you doing, Mars? Mars. But um got his cork bark hide there, his slate hide and his basking spot. It's really hot. Um got his fogger still up there going on down. But uh is what I did to make him have more room. Uh that log used to take up pretty much the whole cage, but I elevated it off the ground with rocks. So now he can go under there and un like that plant looks like it's taken up, but he can go all under there as like a big hide too. And his water dish is right there now, but uh, yeah, I don't know. The cage looks pretty cool to me. I don't know what you guys think. I think it looks pretty sick. Uh, yeah. So that's a cage in the Tegu. It looks pretty awesome. Um, but he's gonna live in there for about another year. I'll probably make his cage next summer. As you guys can actually see, he's drinking water right now. It's Tegu drinking water for you. Uh, so yeah, that's him in his cage. I don't really know what else to say. Thanks for the 200 subscribers. Leave comments below. Subscribe if you're new to me. Uh, if you want a video, just tell me. I'll I'll get on to that. Um, yeah, so sorry about not making videos for a while. Just thanks. Rate, comment, subscribe.